Welcome back guys with two and a half acres here and it's been raining so we're gonna work on different stuff work on the barns and get that thing ready for when we get sheep clean it up a little bit and um, get ready for hay to be in there trying to clean this thing up I need to figure out right, what's the easiest cheapest way to just so it'd be a little bit warmer in here it's not for the sheep or not just to work out here put some of that great stuff in there that foam but it looks like garbage I need to find something else to fix this so it'll be more I don't know maybe I can grow some plants or something in here this is our kayak we got last year when we go uh, camping. We got an RV too. Uh, a couple years ago. Kids had fun on that. Oh, I did get a shop light, LED shop light. That lights it up pretty good in here. Um, those are like $34, I believe. I just have it hooked up with electric cord. I'm going out another electric cord, I mean, like 50 feet or something going out there to pick up. And I'd like to get electricity out here, but I don't know how much that is. This will work. I'm not in here all the time, anyways, but the light does see how much stuff we got to clean up. Uh, but that light does give off pretty good light. Um, 34 bucks in this LED. It's gonna stay a long time. Hopefully. Oh my goodness, girls. Go get in your coop. They look pitiful. Look at cranberry. My name's cranberry. <laughs> Bad hair day for sure. What are you girls, guys doing? Well, I'll show you what I've been working on the fence and then the last uh, video. I think I got one teeple in. Man, it is busy. Just been busy with softball, softball season, and school, all that funness. There's the girls. Here's the inside of the. Uh, the sheep shed, barn, whatever you want to call it. This one we'll have to bring out a little bit. Like I was talking about. It gets kind of wet in there. Let's see. Probably come off. Uh, seven feet or something. This one I was talking about when it rains a lot. This whole thing gets flooded back here. Bluebird house. I'm going to redo that. I'm going to take it off and put those cattle panels up. A bunch of flooding going on. It's just some old hay. Got a couple of trees too in here. Oh, there it is right there. Got a little cow skull. Mark it with the cow skull. And one right there. Just need a weed whack around it. But these are going to be, I, I got these from my trees in front, this volu volunteer that was coming up. Dang, look I actually read it. 
Hey guys, uh, today was Friday. I called in sick today. Not really sick, but weather-wise, I guess. Uh, we had a lot of rain. There's it was going to be flooding, and the wife had to go into town. And I know she doesn't like to drive in it. And to be safe, I, I just took off so I can drive her and uh, take care of business. You know, taking care of the wife. Uh, we went to Atwoods. There's our chicken feed we bought. I think it was on sale today. I looked at it, it looks pretty good stuff. Um, other thing we did, since we didn't have the kids, we went out to eat. And how many people out there actually knows of a KFC? It's actually a KFC slash Taco Bell, but it's KFC Buffet. Boom! You're talking about getting all the legs <laughs> and all the mashed potatoes and gravy. Man. Bad thing is, though, man, when you come out of there, because you're trying to get your money's worth, you know, boy, you just want to, you can't move, want to take a nap, <laughs> that's for sure. But if y'all don't have one around you, which a lot of people, I ask them, and they never heard of such, they're like, what? I'm driving out there. But anyways, um, if you do have one, congratulations. If you never heard of it, yeah, you're, you're not the only one. Some of y'all not believe in me, so here is some video. That's right, I took it. Just to prove to you, it's true. It's true. Roll it! Mm -hmm. 